You know, it's almost like your birthday with a package from China, so let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I want to take a close look at the game station. So yeah, when you're looking at the box itself, it just says classic arcade station, professional design and reliable quality. Yeah, so professional design, you know, it basically shows that on the box. I even put some text on myself because, yeah, so what we're going to get in the inside is maybe less exciting. So when you're looking on AliExpress, you can find all kinds of weird stuff. So this thing comes with a very nice, a very extended manual. And for the people who are familiar with PCBs, you already can see a very familiar one. And yeah, that is basically what you're going to get with this. We do get ourselves like the game station with a separate sticker. And what they are like doing is selling these blue, let's say, game boxes. Like, that's it. Like, it looks kind of cool. But the question remains like, what can we do with it? It comes with a built-in fan. That is something you don't see very often. Here you can see like they even added some passive cooling to it. The casing feels loose, so I'm guessing it's all clicked together without any screws whatsoever. Maybe the top one over here that holds this part. But that's it. Okay, so at the inside we're also going to get an HDMI cable and power supply. Yeah, the power supply is a barrel jack, a very small one. Let me see how much voltage this thing is. I'm guessing 5 volt. Yeah, it is 5 volt, 3 amps, so it's a quite heavy power supply. So we do get ourselves the Super NES controllers. But yeah, it's a little bit of a bummer because this is nothing comparable with the original ones. They feel absolutely like cheap. The ABXY, the shoulder buttons. The funny thing is like both shoulder buttons feel different. It's kind of weird to be honest. And that's what you're going to give the cheap ones. I don't know what even happened to the case in here. But I can tell you those controllers are absolutely garbage. So the funny thing is like with these spy, base, with these spy systems, you can just add your own controller. So you don't need to have this controller at all. Also here we're going to get an... It's kind of weird, like I've seen it before when a cable is stuck to it for a very long time, but nothing is to see on the cable itself. But in overall, the quality of the controllers is absolutely horrible. All right, that's interesting. So we do get a specification list over here on the metal wall. So let's talk about that. So this game comes with an H3 quad-core Gore-Tex-A7. Yeah, and I must say, when you're looking at the list itself, it's not very special. One gigabyte of DDR3 is even shared with the GPU. And, and overall, like the performance would not be surprisingly simply because it, it's not very interesting when it comes to the specs. No, we have seen this many times before. All right, it's time for the nerdy technical chit chat about this product. So well, let's take a close look at the specifications. The CPU is an H3 quad core Gore-Tex A7. The GPU is a Mali 400 MP2 that is running on 600 megahertz. It has a support for OpenGL AS 2.0. The memory is a 1GB DDR3 that is shared with the GPU. So on board it has 8GB of AMMC flash memory, but it can be expanded with a maximum of 32GB. So that's not a lot. But then overall the specifications are just okay. You don't expect that you can run 4K stuff on this or whatsoever. I'm curious what are we going to get. So let's boot it up and let's see. Is this thing a freaking vacuum cleaner, cleaner or not? The system is booting up, it takes quite a long time. The first thing I'm noticing is that this thing doesn't sound like a freaking vacuum cleaner. And it's booting up with the retro orange pie. But for the people familiar to the channel, they know that I have done some reviews about an orange pie system. But I'm curious, how far can we push this thing and what can we actually play with this game station? Holy shit. The loading times are super long. Do, 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 do. Skip the video. Yep, and just want to cut it, but it's not necessary. All right, so let's boot it up. One game system, gamepad detected. Oh yeah, here it is. Now it seems to me that I'm still needing configuring it. Let's do this first. All these systems have been preset and everything is set up, but with this you don't. So just what we're going to do is pressing up, down, left, right on the D-pad. Start, select, eBay, X and Y, I just said eBay, I mean e A and B, oh man, it's brain fighting all over again here. Okay, we can skip all the crap. If you have a second controller like that, you can basically do it way faster. Oh man, oh man, oh man. But that's the only thing you need to do, set your hotkey and you're ready to go. 
But when it comes to the Orange Pi, even that it is not that super powerful compared with other devices, and there was a big portion of the Wicked family that still likes really old school stuff. And I'm not talking about NES even before that. And with the Orange Pi and the game station like this, you can see you're having like some Atari stuff on it. And that is maybe for some of the people really interesting if you want to build yourself a system like this. Okay, let's try this game first from the GBA. Everything is running on RetroArch and the emulation is very good. What I do like about these, let's say, cheaper boards, they play like the 8-bit, 16-bit and also the GBA, the 32-bit, way better than most cheap devices I've seen now. Okay, you know how it works. Punch him in the face and kick him in the balls. Woo! Come on, Wolfie. It's beefcake time. Beefcake. Woo! Ba -na -na -na, ba -na -na. It's time to pick on beefcake and like the pretty. Never mind, you know what I was gonna say. I need to stop singing now. I'm getting into the beefcake and wolfy dudes. Power up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Stop freaking hitting me in the face. Then punch him in the balls. Punch him in the balls. Punch him in the balls. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Wolfy time! Ah. <sighs> So the problem with controls like these are, so we're only having a freaking D-pad. And if you want to play N64, you can forget it, because we're going to need a freaking analog stick. Can I find... Can I find... <sighs> Another problem is, I'm missing shoulder buttons, or the Z button. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do, is plug in a freaking different cable. <laughs> Let's get my safety just an Xbox 360 controller. Oh, yep. And let's configure this bad boy so we can actually play and test all the games. Because this is just freaking awful. Wow. But N64 will always be a mixed bag. Yeah, that is not how it should be. But I was not surprised, but I just wanted to show you that N64 is a mixed bag. There will be some launch titles that will work, but in overall performance, it's just not that great. You're going to get stuff like this. Okay, so next up, let's play a game of PlayStation 1. And what I like about this, let's say, Pi system, that it is not super powerful, but it's still able to run PlayStation 1 very good. There will be some games, like higher demanding games, that has some problems with this. And I mean like Bloody Roar 2. Maybe they will have some minor hiccup. But the most game will just fine. Wicked, it's not Destruction Derby. Keep forgetting that. Woo So the game station is just an other product also now that they're trying to sell you and yeah just to think you're buying something different than a pie no this is absolutely just pie kind but only in a different kind of casing with a different name the overall performance you have seen it in the video yeah it's very limited except especially now when you're looking at all those versions of let's say pie editions that you have so this thing it looks kind of cool i really love the blue but that's the only thing that it is. At school, it plays a lot of games, especially the old ones. But when you're looking at the new generation, it's absolutely no go. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing, hit that little bell, and it will be great to see you in the next video.